Even no big Jesus Christ, me I no go sell, I know that God do. Lie, lie, lie. Even no big Jesus Christ, me I no go sell, I know that God do. Lie, lie, lie. Another God, I no go sell, me I no go sell, I know that God do. Lie, lie, lie. Even no big Jesus Christ, me I no go sell, I know that God do. La la la, if you no be Baba Jesus, say me I no go sell, another God do. La la la, another God I no go sell, me I no go sell, another God do. La la la, if you no be Jesus Christ, me I no go sell, another God do. La la la, if you no be Baba Jesus, say me I no go sell, another God do. La la la, another God, I no go sell. Me, I no go sell. Another God, oh. La la la, another God, I no go sell. Me, I no go sell. Another God, oh. La la la, if we no be your God, Jesus say, me, I no go sell. Another God, oh. La la la, if we no be Papa, Jesus say, me, I no go sell. Another God, oh. La la la, another God I no go sell. Me I no go sell. Another God do. La la la, another God I no go sell. Me I no go sell. Another God do. La la la, another God I no go sell. Me I no go sell. Another God do. La la la. Greetings everybody, welcome once again, it's your favorite program, a chapter a day. On here we get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, we should or should not do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth, and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. And of course, today we're doing Proverbs chapter 12, and it has 28 verses. Guys, I know you all are as ready as I am. I was born ready. So, we normally start with the <clears throat> birthday wishes, and then we normally start with the singing, and then we we'll hand over the session to God, and then the birthday wishes, and then the birthday prayers, and then we go to creation of the audio Bible, and then the Bible study, and then we pray for whatever God tells us to pray for, and then we appreciate God for a beautiful and brilliant session as He always gives us. So, guys, we're ready. Let's hand over the session to Yahweh. Father, we thank you for this day. You've made rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your faithfulness, your loving kindness, your tender mercies. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives. Because in everything, you work for good to them that love you, serve you, and are called according to your purpose. Lord, we bless your holy name. We magnify you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You're Yahweh, you're Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You're the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We say you have mercy on us, O God. Father, do for us that which no man can do. Even as we are ready today to enjoy a chapter a day, O Father, I pray that you're going to speak to us in a very special way. Address the needs of your people. Let our expectations not be cut short, O God. Father, that you're going to open our eyes. You're going to cleanse our minds. You're going to tear every veil that has been blocking the eyes of the people so that they're going to see the light and they're going to be able to come to the light and the rising of the light and their lives are going to be transformed. Lord, let them be salvation, deliverance, healing, re restoration recovery let them be every good thing that can be let them be ministerial expansion financial expansion spiritual psychological emotional let them be career expansion lord let them be expansion on every side today father back your word with signs and wonders your word never goes out and comes back the same it always accomplishes the purpose for which it is sent let that be a practical reality in the lives of everyone who be who is going to be a part of the chapter today today in jesus name Increase while I decrease, so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout the solution of a chapter a day. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord God, because you are a faithful Father and you are prayer answering God. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints will say, Jainamas, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Okay, people, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. So, 
Today has been a really great day. I don't know about you, but I had a really an amazing time. You know, I I actually went way beyond my steps. I normally have to do 10K steps a day. Today, I wasn't just feeling like it, but for some weird reason, I just got this whole vibe at some point in time. And then, boom, 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 I just started going and going and going. Guess what? I did 16,000 steps. And maybe if I change my mind, I could actually get a 20,000 because the day is not done yet, right? Oh my God. Anyways, that's by the way. So let's get on with the birthday party. Let's see those we have on our birthday book. The first person is um, Daddy Larry Beckett. I actually got to know him on Facebook and he was posting this really amazing words and messages. He loves the word of God, the undiluted word of God. And he was posting all these amazing messages and especially talking about issues that people really don't want to talk about. People avoid a lot. Um, people kind of sugarcoat a lot of things, you know, because they're scared to not lose people and all that. And then he used to give some really amazing testimonies about the things that were happening in his life, the life of his family members, of his wife and all that. So I got really stuck and connected to him and it has been awesome all the way. Happy birthday to you, Daddy Beckett Larry. And then the next person is Mr. Ndenga Edwin Anye. Mr. Ndenga Edwin Anye, I actually got to know him when I was working at a Christian Gospel Radio. And I think he was present for one of the holiday specials. I'm not sure exactly. But then I got to know him through the Christian Gospel Radio. I uh, became really good friends and... We just continue like that. And then they had this um, really big shop somehow close to the radio or something. If I'm not mistaken, they had this really big shop somewhere around. And so we used to get to communicate from time to time and all that. It was really nice. The next person is Mr. Njapte, Mark Walters. He's an amazing media person. I got to know him through, I think, the Christian Gospel Radio as well. Yeah, I think so. I'm not so sure, but Facebook for the most part. We, we Our communication continued on Facebook and uh, a little bit of WhatsApp sometimes. He's an amazing media person. You would want to connect with him. You would want to get to follow him and see what he does on social media. The last but not the least is my very, very married friend, Mom Prudencia Asanga Matiba. <laughs> She's going to be like, Princess, what are you saying? A.K.A. Anti-Menstruation, A.K.A. Um, the, the woman who cooks the best meals, a.k.a. what again? Oh, my God. A.k.a. the Prince Guru, a.k.a. the, um, what's that again? Oh, my God. She's so much skilled. I love this woman with a passionate passion. She's an amazing lady. She has a passion to help, to help especially young girls. You know, there's this season of um, awareness, menstrual hygiene awareness and all that. She goes all out. She goes to these really, really interior villages and helps a lot of girls and stop young people. Oh my gosh, she's just amazing. And she cooks really, really tempting and delicious meals. <laughs> I always put it on, on sometimes on here. And then she also um, trains. She does a lot. She's also into printing. They do a lot of um, customizing of umbrellas, t-shirts, cups, and stuff. She does a lot in that aspect. And it's really, really beautiful. Follow her on her page and you'll see the stuff that she does. Quality. She doesn't joke with quality. That I know for sure. I can attest to that anytime, any day without flinching. She's an amazing woman, very friendly, very welcoming, and very out, um, outgoing too. Happy birthday to you, Mam Prudencia. So let's go again. Happy birthday to you, Daddy Larry Beckett. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Dengang Edwin Anye. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Japted Mark Walters. And a very special happy birthday to my very married friend, Mam Prudencia Asanga Matiba. Happy birthday to you all. So let's do the... But the prayers, like I said, today our Bible part is Proverbs 12, and he has 28 verses. But before that, let's pray for the birthday people. Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for opening the windows of heaven and pouring out the treasures of your blessings upon their lives and rebuking every devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to open their eyes to see those they are supposed to be destined to pursue so that they'll strategically position themselves to help these people when the time is right. And you're also going to strategically place their destiny helpers all around them. So when they also cry for help, help is going to be made available for them instanter. 
Lord, I pray, O oh God, and bring before you, O oh God, all these amazing people who were born today, O oh God. Father, that you cause them to stand out and not fit in. That they are going to be the head and not the tail, the top and not the bottom. They are going to be above always and never beneath, O oh God. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you are going to favor them in all that they do. Let whatever they do be pleasing in your sight. Whatever they say be pleasing in your hearing. And whatever they touch be blessed and sanctified even before they get to touch it. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you are going to divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate, O oh God. Father, or retrogress. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you open doors for them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to continuously lead them, continuously guide them. Take them to the top and let them stay there permanently. You're the master strategist. So you can teach them all the techniques that are needed and necessary for them to not only get to the top, but to get there and stay there permanently. Lord, give us an understanding that being at the top, there's always a lot of space, a whole lot of space. So you're going to help them, oh God, to not want to ride on others, but rather to go up together in a very beautiful way. Lord, I pray that you're going to teach them the way. That your part is, their path is going to shine brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. Your word is going to be a lamb onto their feet and a light to their part. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to continuously lead them wherever you lead them. They'll follow with your rod and start to guide them up the mountain through the valley. You're always there to save and keep them. So they'll rest under the shadow of your wings. Lord, you said that we should call on you. And you answer us and show us great and mighty things which we've never known. Let that become a practical reality in the lives of those ones who are born today. Of these ones who are born today, oh God. Father, before they call you answer, before the crowd you hear. Lord, I pray that you cause them to increase in wisdom and stature. Gaining favor before God and before men. Lord, let their gifts make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before me, men. Father, I pray, O oh God, that money will make money in their pockets, blessings will make blessings in their lives, favor will make favor in their lives, even as you clothe them with a garment of praise, honor, favor, and every good thing. Lord, I know that you have a place, and you will do your will in their lives, just as it is needed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We still every prayer request with the blood of Jesus, knowing that you've done it already. We still every prayer request with the blood of Jesus, knowing that you've heard and answered. We say thank you. We appreciate you, O oh God. We do not take it for granted. Blessed be your holy name in all the earth. Father, we say thank you. Let money be money. Let, let cause this one to be trailblazers, pay setters, world changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that will make a difference in that generation. Regardless of how it looks, regardless of how it feels, regardless of where this takes them to, oh God, they'll be the best. They'll be the head and not the tail. They'll be the top and not the bottom. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. Let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say, Jainomus, Amen, but I sing the Amen, so let's go. Amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be. In the life, so the prayers, amen, 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 with the blood of Jesus, amen, let it be so, amen, in their life, as we pray. God bless you all tremendously, may fill your bands with all good things, and enlarge your coasts. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Have a blast. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, people. Let's get right on with the Bible party. <clears throat> Sorry, people. I don't know what's going on with me lately. But we are unstoppable. Are you ready? Let's do this. Proverbs chapter 12, 
Whosoever loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hated reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a shame is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are, and are not. But the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall commend a man. The wicked are overthrown and are not. But the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom. But he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. He that is despised and had a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. A righteous man regarded the life of his beasts, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilled his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followed vain persons is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yielded fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. <clears throat> the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth sheweth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The leap of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. The seed is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduced them. The slothful man roasted not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints shall say, Ginomus, thanks be to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to whoever is connected 5 on 5. We're glad to have you. We appreciate you. We acknowledge the fact that you're here and we do not take it for granted. Thank you for giving us this chunk of your life. If you're staying here for three minutes, you're giving us three minutes of your life. Because each and every one of us has 24 hours of life. So if you choose to give me a couple of minutes of your life, I'm definitely, definitely beyond every reasonable doubt honored. And I do not take it for granted. So let's go. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? Whosoever loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hated reproof is brutish. Of course, if you don't listen to correction, you get into wild and you get into serious trouble. But when you listen to correction and follow it, it brings you reward. It brings you good stuff. It brings you amazing opportunities. It says, A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. It's all us. It's straightforward. God diligently rewards all those who seek him. So if you're seeking him, you get a good reward. If you're not seeking him, you get whatever you get for not seeking him. Don't be me go tell you to a view, but you'll get it. So if you're if you're confident and bold enough to want to check what would happen if you don't accept the 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 finished work of Christ on the cross, 
then you can go ahead and try. There's no harm in trying. You know, um, our generation these days were very adventurous. Anything, especially the ones that they say we should not do, those are the ones that are very intriguing. Those are the ones that we want to do by all means. May the good Lord help us. It says, A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. If you are a righteous person, your roots will not be moved because you have your roots really, really on the ground. See, in Dubai, the trees don't have that much roots because their things are almost basically surface things. They, they, the way their, their, their arena had been, the way the wall had been and all that, it wasn't really a place like, you know, um, that they'll plant trees and it'll go so deep because most of their things, they water by themselves, they do it by themselves and all that. So they really had these things that were very shallow. It's not so deep. So there was this time, I mean, there was a particular season, a particular year I was there. That year it was terrible. Things got broken. There was this wind, there was this heavy rain and all. I mean, things got broken. There was literally a shake like that. Things got broken. But when you are a righteous person, you're not like the trees in Dubai. You're like the tree that is planted by the river of living water. You're getting water. You're getting resources. Your roots are actually deep on the ground. You're getting resources. Really great resources. May the good Lord help us. <clears throat> Sorry. It says, A man shall not be established by wickedness, but by the root... By the root of the righteous shall not, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. So children who are righteous, children who know God, who love God, who are righteous, they are not moved. When some kinds of things are happening, when people are saying some kinds of things, they are not moved because they know who they are following. They are following God. They are following Jesus. Through some things he will give you, through some things he will give me. But the focus is Jesus says the words of the wicked the thoughts of the righteous are right but the counsels of the wicked are deceived if you are a wicked man giving counsel don't go and sit there don't change your time don't change anything that concerns you says the words he lied lied very badly and so, when you're lying and doing all those things, you get into lots and lots of trouble. And basically for now, just for the meantime, smart and not will get one really great car. Thank you, Lord. It says, the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceived. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. There are some decrees that will make that deliver people that don't even know they have been delivered. There are some decrees that will make even covering our faces, sometimes even with our eyes in the mask. But sometimes co even covering our eyes and all. There are things that God will do for you and do for your age range and do for your age limit and tell you, this one can only be me. It's either this or nothing. May the good Lord come through for us. May he help us to be able to overcome our pains before we start talking. It says the word of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. When you see people who are divided, you know. When you see people who are not standing right, you know. When you see people who are not doing what they're supposed to do, you know. I was just test the spirit. It says, He that is despised and had a servant is better than he that honored himself and lacked bread. Hmm. Even Bible does not recommend you not to have nothing. Even Bible does not recommend you to not do anything. Sometimes people take it overboard. Go this extreme and go that extreme. 
go this extra and go that extreme. But the truth is, as Minister Mark always says, what is the issue? Why can't you just study the word of God for yourself? Why can't you just have this personal relationship with God yourself? It will go a long way. Oh Lord, take preeminence, oh God. Take, take over, take over, Lord. Take over, King of Glory. Take over, Abba Father. Take over, Lord. We worship you. And it says, A righteous man regarded the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. The, the righteous man will consider when he wants to do some things and he sees that he's probably going to hurt a lot of people or he's going to destroy people's lives and all, he wouldn't, um, she wouldn't do it. She would rather conceal it. She would rather keep it and then resolve it better. But you see, the elders will talk to you anyhow, anyhow. That they forget that God who made God who made us knew that when we are doing the things the God way, people are going to be attracted to us. When we are doing things the right way, people are going to be attracted to us. We don't need to cajole them. We don't need to persuade them. We don't need to, to kind of manipulate them to be here. No. No. He that is despised and had a servant is better than he that honored himself and lacked bread. Even God does not commend um, someone not being able to take care of their family. Even God does not commend that. But when you are caught up in a situation that you don't have a choice, what do you do? Go back to God. It's God who gave you the assignment. It's God who gave you the work. And so if he now takes that work and gives it to some other person, they'll be in trouble. Lord, take all the glory. Take preeminence, put now and forever. It says, He that tilleth his hand, he that tilleth, he that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. You cannot be following people and just talking and making noise, yes, yes, yeah, and they left, right, front, back, and center. No. We bought this pen drive for a purpose. Lord, Come and help us, O oh God, to be able to know how to handle the drive, to be able to know how to do the things that you want me to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. It says, The wicked desire the net of evil, of evil men, but the root of the righteous yield of fruit. When your, when your stems and your roots, they are grounded, when they're right under there, you know, you cannot joke with this one. I am taken. I am sold out for God. The wicked desire the nest of the evil, but the reproof of the righteous, you then not. The wicked is snared by the transgressions of his lips, but the judge shall come out of the trouble. The wicked is snared by his transgressions, by the transgressions of his lips, but the judge shall come out of trouble. And people say there is no issue with confessions. You confess things and they begin to happen in your life. You confess things and they begin to affect you. Even if, I keep saying and I keep asking this question, even if there was nothing like confession, so do you mean that on the day I don't go to church, you automatically not go to church? On the day that I put sugar and you don't say I'm putting the sugar, you, I mean... Like, what exactly would you be thinking? God, Jesus had done the finished work on the cross. It's left for you to accept. It's left for you to acknowledge. It's left for you to say, yes, this is what my father has said. And I'm going to go straight up with it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. And what verse are we on now? The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, 
but the just shall come out of trouble. Things that the wicked person says. Sometimes you say some things you don't even remember. And then when they come to hold you on it, you're shocked that you said that kind of thing. Oh yes, it happens sometimes. The wicked is snared by the translation of his lips. But the just shall come out of trouble. That's straightforward, right? A man shall be satisfied with the good fruit of his womb and the and the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. Welcome, Mam Tipper Mavis. You actually made us miss Mam Felix Felix Rita's birthday. You made us miss that birthday. We didn't sing for them because you're not here. But I knew you were busy, so I told them to forgive you anyways. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruits of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Yes, fools think they know already. They know they understand. They know they'll get it right. Like, you no, no, no. You know, there are some people like that. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I love that. So it says, um, the wicked is snared by the transgressions of his lips. But the judge shall come out in trouble. So I always ask this question that even if, even if this positive confession doesn't work, don't you think it's better to confess positive than to just sit automatically? Because there's going to come a time. Whether I dodge it from how to how, from when to where, there's going to come a time where you would have to stand your ground and you have to say what is what. You have to say who you stand for and all. And God had already said that if you are ashamed of him before the people, he will also be ashamed of you before his father. So you better take your pick. Are you on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. It says, A man shall be satisfied with good, with good by the fruit of his mouth. And the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. God diligently rewards. He rewards and rewards and rewards. If you're doing good, if you're doing the other way around, God has a way to reward. It says, Your hands, when you work hard with your hands, you shall get profit, you shall enjoy. The Lord has first of all promised us that He will render, He will reward those who diligently seek Him. I know that sometimes it feels hard. I know that sometimes it feels like God is slow, but I can tell you of a shorty, God is never, ever late. God is never late. God is always on time. So don't mind how things are looking. Don't mind how things are going. The enemy might be pushing you and pushing you. Job is there as a perfect example. He was being pushed and tossed to and fro, framed and lied about. But he was still there doing his purpose, focused on what brought him there. Okay, and it says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Sometimes we think that we know it all. And when you get to that place in your life where you feel like you know it all, that's when you start failing. That's when you start falling, slowly but surely. I believe so. It says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that acted unto counsel shall be wise. We need to listen. We need to listen. You can listen through the word. You can listen through a message. You can listen through anything. There are just so many things God can speak to you through. There are just so many ways God can speak to you. But let it be peculiar to you. Let it be peculiar to you. May the good Lord help us to stick to confessing positive, whether we think it works or not. May the good Lord help us. 
Cry out to him and he'll come to help you. Cry out to him and he'll come to your rescue. Lord, help me. Help me to do the things that you want me to do and to do them perfectly. Lord, help me, O oh God, to do your will. Help me, O oh God, to do the things that are assigned to me to be done. And Lord, I pray that you're going to make it absolutely gorgeous. You're going to make it beautiful. Lord, Thank you for giving us an opportunity thank you lord god thank you king of glory it says um the way of a fool is right in his own eyes but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise so sometimes we feel like we know it all sometimes we feel like we don't want to learn from nobody we don't want to hear nothing from nobody trust me we all need one another that's why god is calling us the bride of Christ the bride of Christ do you really know who you are welcome mom rose welcome 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 God bless you do you really know who you are if you know who you are you'll be confident if you know who you are you will not be moved if you know who you are you will not panic regardless of what is happening regardless of what is going on around you guys i have a big testimony that is coming it's brooding it's brooding god is actually working on it and soon enough soon before you even know it boom cry out to god when things go wrong when things get bad cry out to him he knows which sister. He knows which message. He knows who is doing what that can make you comfortable. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because I know as for me and my house, we'll confess right. As for me and my house, we'll make the right statements. As for me and my house, we'll cancel anything that is said concerning us that we don't like and we don't want. It says... A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covers shame. He that speaketh truth showeth for righteousness, but a false weakness deceit. We don't want false weakness. We want you to be there. And we know that you're going to make it happen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, because I know. You always hear an answer. It says, There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. Some people, eh, if they speak to you, <laughs> you go enter, hold your lock yourself, die. I used to be the chiefest amongst those people. If you are beating me and explaining me, eh, I also use my mouth eh, to pray. If there was a way to beat people with the mouth, I would have beaten my 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 friend. Lord, help us. Thank you, Father. Help us to learn to say the right things. Help us to learn to say the right things to our friends, to our brothers, sisters, relatives, and loved ones. Lord, help us to say the right things. Help us to do the right things, oh God. It's not by our power, it's not by might, but by your spirit, so we cannot boast. Deceit is in the heart of man that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. God himself has promised that he's not going to leave you or forsake you. He's going to be present in their midst. He's going to be with us always. The Bible says, when two or three are gathered, he's there in their midst. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to help us, O oh God. Yes. You're going to help us to be the best, to draw the best, to say the best, to 
cry out to the best, to call out to the best, because this will be the best birthday yet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. It says, a prudent man concealed knowledge, but the heart of fool proclaimeth foolishness. Sometimes you think some people are just staying quiet because they don't have anything to say. They don't have who to hashtag to. They don't have who to join their group and all. No. I'm doing this because God says you should do it. You're not doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for somebody. You're not doing it for your um your one on only friend. May the good Lord help you. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. If you don't make good use of all that God has given to you, you shall also be under tribute. You also end up being under tribute. And this one says, Heaviness in the heart of man make it stoop, but a good word make it glad. The good word is the word of God. Me, I believe at all times. The word of God has every single thing in the Bible, and He has a way He gets to you, He has a way He hits differently when you're looking different and sounding different. The word of God sees and it fixes things and it makes things to happen in your life that you will be in awe of how wonderful of how marvelous the Lord can be thank you Lord it says heaviness in the heart of a man make it a stoop but a good word make it a glad so you might be going through a tough time. Somebody might have said something to you and you're just going through a tough time. But if you know the word of God concerning you for that situation, you will not blink. You will not flicker. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Lord, we thank you. We really appreciate you. We really magnify you. says the righteous is more excellent than the neighbor but the way of the wicked said you said them going the right way sometimes it doesn't look like it it doesn't look like it but when you start wanting to go the wrong way and all and then all kinds of complications start coming oh this and this and this is not done oh this one have not been done yam done yam no done see positive confessions are good let nobody tell you anything less. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, the truth is that it will still be there and it will exist. So take your pick. May the good Lord help us to know that saying the right things would help us grow. And how do we say the right things when we're not even studying the word? Lord, help us. Help us to learn how to study the word. Help us to learn how to go about all these things. Thank you, Lord God. It says, In the way of righteousness. And yes, my Amy Brenda says many, many times, it doesn't look like it, but truth stays true all the times. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And a lot of times people feel like, oh, the thing that a lie that they've lived for 100 years because of the longevity of how long they've lived to that lie is going to make it the truth. It will never, ever be the truth. It doesn't matter how long you've known it. If it's not a truth, it's not true. And neither would a lie that has been used for long become true because you have used it for long. Neither would a, would, 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 would a lie become truth. A truth will not become a lie because it has been so watered down. Neither would a lie become a truth because it has been used for centuries. No. 
and God expects of us that when we find out all these things that are going on this season, we should check. We should check. Are we the ones that are making this season bad for some people and ourselves? Or are we the ones making this season beautiful for people and for ourselves? How do you use your tongue? Do you use it to bless people? Do you use it to inspire people? Do you use it to... I don't know. What do you use your tongue for? May the good Lord help us to use our tongues right. May he help us to tame our tongues. May he really, really help us. And the last um, verse, it says, The slothful man roasted not that which he took in the hunting, but his substance, but the substance of the diligent man is precious. The wicked people, they are always fighting to take what's not theirs. Always wanting to bring somebody down so that they'll go up. There's some people in this world, that's how they feel. Oh. They feel like they should be on top always before they can encourage any person. But when they're on the normal, when they're on their... They become so incorrigible. They become one kind of totally different person that I've never seen before. And Mam Amy Banda says, Father, help us to learn how to study the word. Oh, yes. It's from the word that will even know the right things to confess. Because sometimes you just want to do the positive confessions. But yes, what do you begin to confess? You get to a point where it feels like you're overwhelmed. That you can't even remember what to confess. But then as you were encouraging people, they were putting that out there. The little girls can now actually be able to do things that they want to do the way they want to do it. Without being surprised. And getting an early old, early old, like a very young person. Just wasting their lives by what they say. Just doing anyhow. But let God help us. That will be able to do this. May the good Lord help us people. May the good Lord help us. May he tame our tongues. That we are going to use these tongues of ours the right way. And we are going to be a blessing in our generation. It says, the whole world can say the sum, the sum of, the whole world can say the sum of six and two and nine. But is this true? Of course not. So because everybody says six plus two is nine. Does it mean now that we should accept because a lot of people say that? Of course not. Of course not. And so it goes on. Let's get the next. Oh, this one doesn't want to come on. This one doesn't come, want to come on. Okay, let's go. So it says, in the way of the righteous is life, and in the pathway thereof, there is no death. When you're a righteous person, your path is smooth, your path is great. But they've not said, don't um, be cautious, don't be careful and all. But positive confession is beautiful. Positive confession is wow. May the good Lord help us. May the good Lord guide us to know what we have to say, when we have to say it, where we have to say it, and for whom we have to say it. God help us to do right. God help us to live right. God help us to get it right. Everything is possible with God. There is nothing impossible with Him. He's the impossibility specialist. He's the protocol breaker. Hey. The Lord is really with us. And He wants the best for us. 
And so let's see this daily confessions. It says, daily reminder, I confess and declare that I've been fortified with power from on high. I, I confess and declare that I've been fortified with power from on high to win and reign in life as a king. I am confident that my future is secure and bright because God has perfected all that concerns me and granted me all that I need to live a successful life. I refuse to be sick because it's not in my nature. I'm a new creature and in Christ Jesus, all things have passed away and all things have become new. The man, 2 Corinthians 5 is 17. The man that could be sick is dead, and the me that is alive today has the way, the supernatural life of God. The supernatural life of God that makes me invisible and impregnable to sickness, disease, and infirmity. I have the light of the life of God in me. It's the superior life of glory, success, and victory. Thank you, Lord, for making it possible. For me to receive this glorious and wondrous life into my spirit. I am a superhuman. All the glory to our God. Amen, amen, and amen. I love that confession. I really, really love it. God is God. God is good. God's ways are perfect. God's ways are past finding. May the good Lord guide and lead us. May he help us do the things that we have to do in this life, our career, our school, our, our ministries, anything that concerns us. We should be able to make declarations on those things and stand on them and keep declaring and declaring until they become a practical reality. Oh, yes. God can do way beyond what we can even ask or imagine. So, go on and ask away. Go on and ask away. Because God is going to put his part there and say, that You shouldn't do things that you should not do. But while you're doing things that you should do, don't shun us. Let's come together and begin to do the things that God wants us to do. And like I said, you, you'll be able to get these best and positive confessions from the word of God. Because when you know what the word of God is saying concerning you, you'll be able to declare it confidently, unapologetically, unashamedly. You won't be scared to say what God is saying concerning you. You won't be ashamed. Lord, help us. Help us, your children, and help our tongue, tame our tongue. That will use it for the right cause. That will confess the right things, O oh God. That will bring results, O oh God. Father, take all the glory. Be, out, be, be thou exalted, O oh God. Above all the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your honor be above all the earth. Father, teach us how to study the word. Teach us how to meditate on the word day and night. So that it will bring us good success, O oh God. So that for whatever it's worth, people that might have taken 10 years to achieve a thing, you will take just months because you are receiving counsel from wise people. Yes? Thank you, Lord. Father, fill us to an overflow. Fill us up, O oh God. We want to run over. For Lord, we know that when you are involved in a matter, it can never be the same. It always changes for the better. Father, take all the glory. Take all the honor and adoration because you deserve it. 
thank you because you're a prayer answering God. And we know that you're going to do way beyond what we can even think, ask, or imagine. I know you're in control. I know you have answers. I know you have questions. But take them to the Lord and ask Him. Take them to the Lord and have that conversation with God. Take them to the Lord and have that discussion, that conversation with your dad, like your biological dad you would. I feel sorry. I'm, I apologize for those who do not have a good earthly fatherly figure. So when they say God is a father, it takes them a lot for it to sink in because it doesn't reconcile with the person that they just left from calling their own father too. Take all the glory, O Lord. We thank you, O God. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Lord, we appreciate you. We truly thank you for all that you've done. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. It has been your favorite girl, Princess Clinton, Queen of Hearts and Laughter, on each other day, aka a card for sure. And we get to know we are Christ the power because there's the things we can and cannot do so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth. And also, end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. So we want to say thank you for all the amazing things that you've done for us, you're doing, and you're still to do. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, our Father. Thank you. Lord, we love you from the bottom of our hearts. We have our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, and every other social media platform that we're looking at to put it on. You can grow your faith by listening to the Bible. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can go listen to the word of God. It's done by me. And I'm sure, I'm sure, beyond all reasonable doubt, that you would definitely love us and do for us beyond our wildest imagination. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for another amazing session. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for coming through for us, O oh Lord. Father, release upon us the spirit of discernment to be able to discern to know who is who and what is what. And to also help us, O oh God, that our intuitions and our antenna will be sharpened, will be heightened, so that we can be able to pick any signal as soon as it happens. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you for another amazing session in your presence. Be thou exalted, O God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hi, guys. Until tomorrow, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and... Uh, let a lot more people know that we're still on with a chapter a day. We're finishing in 2024, so we still have a lot of time. And I pray that all those who have their birthdays and stuff, they'll be able to come here again same time next year and testify and do all these amazing things with us. Thank you, Lord God. Ciao, ciao. Do not forget, tomorrow is Proverbs chapter 12. Study ahead of time and come back here. Let's have a slow time together. Have a great week, people. I really do love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.